Hello fellow crafters! It has been one week since I started the Scorched Earth Challenge put out there by Dana's Wonderlust Crochet and I've gotten some stuff done or at least started and almost done or started and not done or not started at all. <laughs> I don't know. First of all I did get something complete, mostly complete. So this set right here that I'd started with the Vanna White pattern. I got the ends weaved in, the end weaved in on this hat. I got the handles on, I got the button on so that it now opens and closes. So all of this set from the book is done. Isn't that cute? And then with the leftover yarn I had started a stole. I finished it and I used up all the yarn that there was. And so now there's actually enough to make a little shawl, a little capelet, and I made a little loop on here. And all I need to do now is find a button. I need to look through my button stash and see if there's something that I want to use from there or if I need to go buy a button from the craft store. Kind of looking for an antique style, so We'll see what I have um, or what I find at the store. So anyway, this is pretty much done. So I can wear it, you know, like this, buttoned down at the bottom. Or you can wear it, wear it maybe more down around your shoulders like that. So I'm excited to have this. It'll be fun to wear to church um, or just when I'm going visiting. Not that I go visiting a lot these days, but I'm so excited to have this done. I probably started this about 17 or 18 years ago. <laughs> so that's nice and done. So thank you Dana for starting this challenge so that I actually get stuff done. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I started, I'd wanted to do one of these cute little house pillows and I got one started. I had this, it was the, uh, what is it? The Karen Simply Soft Party. And I got, it's got that sparkle to it. So I got the front and the back done. They're the same. So you just do one of the same, or two of the same pattern. So I have the front and the back done. And then I got the door done. Then what I had left to do was the window and the gusset, which is the side that gives it the depth and I ran out of the black uh, yarn. I thought that if I didn't have enough of the black sparkly that I would use just the black uh, Simply Soft but as I was crocheting it up of course it has a different gauge so um, it was just kind of pulling in and just being a tighter, uh, tighter weave through here so that this was wider than this was here. I didn't like that. Um, so I went on to order some more black, but it's back ordered right now, so I have to wait until I can get more black um, to get this done. I did order some of the white as well. I didn't have any of the white for the window. I have the white Simply Soft, but again, the gauge is gonna be different probably doesn't matter so much for the window, but I thought if I'm going to have to order some yarn anyway to finish it, I might as well get the sparkly white as well, the Simply Soft Party. So I ordered some, I think from MaryMaxim.com. I had found some on, well, I think Yarn Inspirations has it, or Lion Brand, can't remember which one, but uh, I actually found it for sale. I found it on Amazon too. Um, but you had to buy like a three pack for $15 and I only wanted one. So I found it on Mary Maxim and it's actually on sale. So uh, I have one of those coming. I tried to order some black from them as well, but it was back ordered. So they were gonna hold my whole order until they got the black in on Lion Brand or um, Ins Yarn Inspirations, one of those. Uh, it's also out of stock, and so it would have to be, you know, on back order. So I'm just going to go order it when I see that they have some in. and But the white is on the way to me, so I can get that done at least. 
I should have enough green left to finish. I have, you know, this side done. I wonder if there's a better picture. Here's a bigger one. So the gusset is done all in one piece. So you do a side of the green and then you do the black and then you switch to green again and do the side and the bottom. So I have enough green, I'm sure, to finish this side and the bottom. And then of course, um, on the edges here, it's a single crochet um, st stitch um, for sewing it together. So I should have enough for doing that as well. My dog's at the door. All right, so one project done, it's over the button, one project started and what is the rule for having to buy yarn in order to finish projects for a stash that you're trying to use up I think my rule is going to be if I buy yarn to finish the project I also have to use the rest of that yarn as part of the scorched earth challenge I think that's going to be my challenge there part of the challenge because there's other things that I want to make uh, with the yarn that I have in my stash that I want to get rid of. Uh, but the projects that I found that I want to use um, need other colors to go with it that I don't have. So we're just going to have to add those into the stash to have to use up. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Okay, so the other project that I had thought I might start on this week was this uh, little wrap vest. Um, I'm not too keen, I don't think. I don't think I want to use the, the Simply Soft yarn that I had pointed out. It was kind of a rose colored. I don't think I'm going to use that for this. So I put this on the back burner for now and uh, work on that later. All right. Another project, though, that I did get started or continue with this week was this. I uh, thought I had the pattern here. Well, shoot, what I do with that? Anyway, it's a pattern by Red Heart, and it's got these squares. I showed it in one of my last videos. But it's got squares of different colors, and then um, for the solid color squares, you actually put these hearts on it. And I have them, I had all the squares done, and I actually wasn't sure if I had all the hearts done, but I, I did. I do have all the hearts done. So last night, I actually got started putting them um, onto the squares. So I'm almost halfway done with that. I have, so there's five colors total and I've done two of the colors and then one of a third color. Um, so I just have the rest of the variegated to do. There's my needle. The rest of the variegated to do and then the mint, the green and the pink. So I hate attaching applique onto stuff. I try not to do projects that, that have those because I don't like attaching them. But we'll muddle through this and get it done. So I just need to finish getting the hearts on and then I'll start attaching the squares uh, and finishing up that afghan finally. So that's going to be a project I continue working on this week for week number two of Scorched Earth. Another project, well it depends on when I get my yarn because I had to order some yarn for this project too. This is going to be fun. I want to get started on it now because I want to have it done by Christmas, by November because it's a fun little advent calendar. So it's got these little ornaments that are put into the pockets and then each day you take out one and you hang it onto the tree. So, you know, I have a wide variety of colors of the Simply Soft and this is actually designed for Simply Soft. It uses 14 different colors and you don't have to use all of these colors. You can switch them out uh, for colors that you have, which I've done here. But the the um, there were some colors that I didn't have, like the background especially. I wasn't sure like what color if I wanted to use this off-white 
or find a different color to use, but I decided to just go ahead and order. So I've ordered some off-white to come so I can start on the background. I do already have this green. It's just a dark sage green that um, I have actually several rolls of, several skeins of. So once I get the off-white, I can start in on that. And these pockets, we'll see if I want to do the multicolor like that. I might just decide to do more Christmassy colors than that. Um, but a lot of these other colors that are on here are used for making the individual items, the individual ornaments. So some of these colors you might say, well, I don't really need that color. Like for this one, actually, I think this is made with the pumpkin. I'm not sure. So you, you might this is for a cup of hot chocolate. You might decide you don't need the pumpkin. You'll use a different color for your mug. Um, I might decide that. So, uh, anyway, there's, you know, a reindeer, Rudolph, and there's a candy cane, and presents, and stockings. And the stockings can be, you know, the presents and the stockings, they can be made in whatever colors you have. You don't have to choose the colors that they say to do. Like this this gift is actually one made with this, these two red colors and then there's one made with I think two green colors or two blue colors. So you can switch up the colors as needed. Like if you have a bunch of scraps that you want to use up, you can um, use them. Here's a snowflake, mitten, and then holly and berries. So I want to do this, get started on it. There's even a gingerbread man there. Get started on this. I want a little Santa too. Anyway, right there. Get started on this so that uh, it can be done for Christmas. Because if I start too close to Christmas, uh, then I get into, ooh, I, I want to make stuff for gifts. And so I, I leave off other projects while I make stuff for gifts. Um, so we'll get started on this now. If anybody wants to make this along with me, that'd be really cool. I can um, do these in a video. Just let me know below if, if you want to do it as a kind of a crochet along type thing. It is a free pattern from yarnspirations.com. So, you know, it's something that I could go through with you guys and we could make them all together. So let me know if that's something you want to do. Um, so I'm excited about this. I've kind of always wanted to have an advent calendar that, that's fun to go through with my boys. Though really, I'm, only the two younger ones would still be interested in doing with this. But, you know, by the time they're too old, I might actually be having... Whew, I'm, too, I'm too young to be saying this. <laughs> I might actually be having grandkids on the way, you know, in the next 10, 10 years. I'll give them 10 years. <laughs> so then I'll have grandkids who will enjoy the advent calendar as well. So I want to get started on this project this week, um, provided I get the off-white uh, this week. If I don't get it this week, then I'll have to start this project next week. But we'll get started on that one. Another pattern, I don't, I might be able to get started on this one, but probably not because we start with one of the colors that I'll be ordering. So I found this. It's made with Karen Simply Soft Yarns. So it, I don't have to worry about the gauge being different. So there's two colorways here. There's kind of a fall coloring and then a, I don't know, winter coloring. I don't know. Um, I'm going to be kind of following this one, except I'm changing out two of the colors. So I ordered, this is an off-white and a taupe, so I ordered those since I don't have them. I'm already ordering off-white -right for the advent calendar, so I just tacked on a few more balls for this. So I've got the, the off-white, the taupe, and then the colors that I already have, instead of the robin egg, robin's egg blue, I'm going to be using this country blue. And then instead of the, what's the other color there? Gray Heather. Instead of that, I'm going to finish off the gold. And this is the gold that I made my cardigan out of. So I have two skeins left of that. And this pattern calls for two skeins of gray Heather. So this will be in place of the gray Heather. 
this will be in place of the robin's egg. So I think that'll make a pretty color combo. Let me show them together so you can see. So I think those will be nice together. So again though, let's see, with a taupe, yeah. So it says to start with taupe. I uh, don't have to start it in these colors. I guess I can mix up the colors if I want, but I think that um, I'll keep them in the same order. So I'll need to wait until my order comes in with the taupe in order to start that project. Of course I have this project to continue working on this week and I think that's pretty much all that I have worked out at this point. Um, I have another afghan I want to get started on but this one takes quite a few different colors and I have some of them and I have some that I could replace other ones with but I don't know I really like the color scheme of this one so I might uh, might be buying more yarn if I want to do this one now um, but I do have other projects that I want to get started on as well um, so that's it for the scorched earth challenge for this week the things I got done the things that got started the things I didn't get started so the other thing I want to talk about real quick is in Mary Maxim's catalog, I saw a thing for a knit and crochet design contest. How many of you guys um, design things? Um, I've seen these before and thought, oh, I'll try to design something, but I never get to it because especially having littler kids at the time, I didn't have a whole lot of time to just sit down and design something up. But I have a couple of ideas running through my head. I already have one you know, for a shawl, but I don't think that one will work because it's Willow Yarns and of course they want Mary Maxim Yarns or, you know, their sponsored yarns. So I went online and printed off the info for that. So MaryMaxim.com slash crochet contest. You can get information about entering their design contest. Uh, $1,500 for grand prize winner and then for each of the categories you get $500 for first place. 250 for second place. So there's crochet afghan, hand knit afghan, baby afghans knit or crochet, and then accessories knit or crochet. So I have a couple ideas running around in my brain for what to do. I did actually, while I was ordering the yarn for these other projects, I decided, well, let me see if I can find some yarn colors that I like to come up with an afghan maybe. So I, I ordered some to come up with the design for this. And then I think I might have some other yarn already that I have an idea of running around. We'll work it through and see if it's actually gonna, gonna come out as something. But anyway, I just thought it doesn't hurt to try to enter. You do have to send in a, a fee. It's a not necessarily a fee fee per se, but it's you send in your project when you're done. You don't send in your pattern at first. You send in your project and then they they will send it back to you, but the money that you pay that, that you send in is what um, pays for it to come back for you and then for, you know, handling and let's see what they say. So there's info online and then there's a there's a entry form that you can fill out and send in with your project. So yeah, $10 entry fee enclosed for one project. That includes processing, packing, insurance, and shipping to return your project. And then if you have additional projects, you send them. Um, so, it, so each additional project is only $5. So $10 for the first one, $5 for each additional project entered. So, um, yeah, if you design stuff and you've never entered a contest before, give it a try. It never hurts to see if you might win. It does, you know, might hurt if you don't have the money for the entry fees, but say love you, right? Anyway, thanks for joining me today. If any of the rest of you are doing the Scorched Earth Challenge, I can't wait to see any progress that you've made, what projects you're going to be working on. So I look forward to that and we'll see you all next time. Bye.